All right, so uh, this will be a short crash course on uh, NG tubes. It's meant for nurses at Mount Sinai, and this is because we have a new medical directive uh, whereby nurses can order x-rays to assess the position of NG tubes. Um, this video is produced by Rachel Gorin, med student at uh, Queen's University and supported by uh, Vinci Chan, Katie Lai, and Natalia Solana. All right, so let's give a brief outline to start. We'll talk about some common indications uh, contraindications, aka when you should not do it, um, what are some risks uh, associated with NG tubes, how can you confirm the position, we'll walk through some uh, chest x-ray examples, and then try to synthesize everything at the end. So most often, especially on internal medicine, uh, the reasons why you'll see an NG tube being ordered are a small bowel obstruction, although maybe even more common on surgery, or for patients who are unable to swallow, for example, if somebody's had a large stroke and they're now no longer able to swallow, um, you might put an NG tube in in that scenario. Uh, when should you not put an NG tube in? So anyone who has severe mid-face trauma, you know, um, recent broken nose, no surgery, uh, any trauma to the oropharynx, we really shouldn't be seeing too many of those patients on internal medicine, uh, but those are definite contraindications. Some relative contraindications, if the patient has known esophageal varices, you just want to be very careful putting the NG tube in uh, because, of course, you don't want to pop one of those varices or if they've had recent banding of their varix. But again, that's a relative contraindication. Some important risks uh, associated with this, and I've seen this for almost, um, for not all patients, but lots of patients, you know, there's risk of aspiration so that when you put the NG tube in, sometimes that can then cause them to retch and vomit, um, uh, discomfort, absolutely. Uh, I had to put an NG tube in after I had surgery uh, to remove my tonsils, and it was so uncomfortable, okay? So it is not fun having an NG tube in place. Um, it's important that we're aware of that. And then, of course, incorrect placement, uh, placement can lead to certain risks, which I'll go through. The best way to confirm the position is a chest x-ray, um, so let's walk through this a bit. So when you're thinking about um, the indications as part of the nursing uh, medical directive, if a patient has had a newly inserted NG tube, um, then an x-ray can be ordered. Um, the times where you probably should at least speak to the doctor and, and not order it yourself are um, if the patient is pregnant or um, suspected to be pregnant, uh, or a woman who's under 55 with out a negative beta HCG. It's important for any physicians that are watching this video, it is completely safe to have chest x-rays, abdominal x-rays during pregnancy. It's just from a medical directive standpoint, if the patient is pregnant or under the age of 55 with a negative beta HCG, um, then it should really be the doctor assessing the need for the um, x-ray and putting the order in. Uh, let's do a reminder of some basic anatomy. So we're looking at a chest x-ray here. Surprise, surprise. Um, here we can really nicely see the diaphragm. Uh, we can see the heart. Um, with the eye of faith, we can see the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. The connection point um, is the carina. We can see the trachea up here. And here's the patient's uh, aorta. Uh, let's give an example of a correctly placed uh, NG tube. So, um, you know, we have an adequate uh, x-ray film. I won't go in through uh, all the ways that you assess adequacy, but you want to make sure that you're seeing a large number of ribs and that you're seeing good penetration of the film so that you can make out some of the vertebrae behind. Um, we can see the NG tube is midline in the trachea. There it is. There it is. Um, and that it bisects the carina. That's a bit harder to see. And that the tip of it is under the diaphragm. Uh, maybe I'll use a nice marker here just to highlight this. So here's the NG tube, here's the NG tube, and then we take a nice turn here um, and, and we go into the stomach and it's clearly below um, the diaphragm, which is great. Um, uh, next slide here is just sort of showing it uh, highlighted in yellow and I guess in case you like that color better than purple. Uh, let's give an example of an incorrectly placed uh, tube. So at first we can see the NG tube. There it is. There it is. And then, whoa, what's going on here? It takes a turn and is right in the right um, uh, bronchus here. You know, this is an NG tube that is clearly in the wrong place. You do not want to start feeds on this person because it will lead to feeds going into the lungs. Um, why don't you try this one? Um, you can pause for uh, a second, pause the slide, and see if you can find out where it is. Uh, this is a tricky one. All right, we'll keep going. So uh, let's see, where is this one placed? Well, we can see it up first, trachea, trachea, 
uh, and then it takes a left turn. Whoops, that's not good. Uh, and then we can see that the tip is actually above the diaphragm. So, so clearly in the wrong position uh, and it's in the lungs, but that's a tricky one because there's so many other cords and wires um, that are also in the view. Um, so just sort of summarizing what we just talked about. Uh, another example, I've certainly done this before. I've put an NG tube in. I thought I was advancing it, but it actually just curled in the esophagus, especially if a patient is retching. Uh, that suggests it might be curling in the esophagus. Another important pearl is if you put the NG tube in and they start coughing, that probably means it's in the lungs. Um, so to summarize, uh, hopefully you have a sense of the indications, small bowel obstruction, unable to eat, and contraindications, um, any facial trauma whatsoever, and some relative contraindications, like if this person has known varices. Um, X-ray landmarks are certainly important, and, and I hope this gives you a sense of what you might be looking at after you've ordered the chest X-ray. I should make it crystal clear, it is not the nurse's job to interpret the X-ray, uh, but it might be helpful after you've maybe inserted it to then look at the X-ray and get a sense of, huh, uh, where is it uh, until the um, doctor gives the formal read? Uh, anyway, hope this was helpful. Uh, leave comments, questions, concerns below and have a great day.